Good Tuesday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to what's making news, let's take a quick look outside that beautiful weather window from this afternoon. And here's a look from our Arondo Rock Sky-Fi Tower camera. And this is looking back down the Columbia River. You can see Turtle Rock right there and a little bit of snow still hanging on on the top of the Cascades, but lots of blue skies and very mild temperatures today. And I'll tell you what, enjoy the next couple of days too, because here's a quick look at your seven day forecast. Tomorrow, sunny and even a little bit warmer, a little cooler on Thursday as we, we begin to see a cold front move through. That will funnel in a little bit of cooler air and some clouds Friday and then rain showers on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. We'll have your complete weather forecast coming up a little bit later on. And now here are the, some of the stories that we're following for you tonight. After the 2020 census, will Wenatchee and East Wenatchee be metro or micro? The metrics could be changing. The Wenatchee Valley is close to the halfway mark in its drive to get eligible residents vaccinated against COVID-19. And Commissioner of Public Lands, Hillary Franz was in Winthrop yesterday to kick off a new wildfire ready neighbors project. But first, our top story tonight, Washington's Child Protective Services Agency must pay $300,000 and change the way it serves deaf or hard of hearing families. The federal settlement came about after an investigation by the U.S. Department of Justice, which found more than 100 instances where the Department of Children, Youth and Families failed to provide sign language interpreters or other aids when handling child welfare cases. That put DCYF in violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act. In addition to the monetary payment, DCYF must now make sure it has ASL interpreters available throughout the state. U.S. attorneys in Seattle and Spokane will monitor the agency's compliance. Well, after the 2020 census, will Wenatchee and East Wenatchee uh, be considered metro or micro? The U.S. Office of Management and Budget is changing the way it designates based on their population. Uh, the Wenatchee Corps won the designation of a metropolitan area back in 2000 when its population was at 99,000 people. It's now at about 116,000, but the OMB under Donald Trump announced plans that would downgrade metro areas that don't meet a certain population threshold. This affects the way cities are considered for federal housing grants, among other revenue sources. The 2020 census hasn't been finalized, and President Biden's new OMB director has not yet decided about adopting that rule. The Wenatchee Valley is close to the halfway mark in its drive to get eligible residents vaccinated against COVID-19. Chelan Douglas Health District Administrator Luke Davies told the Regional Board of Health yesterday the pace of vaccinations looks good for the two counties. Um, Chelan Douglas Health District has initiated uh, about 49,346 individuals on vaccine, meaning they've gotten a first dose. Um, and then we have 37,234 individuals who received both doses and or the Johnson & Johnson. Um, what this means is that is about 50.6% of our eligible population, that means our 16 and above. Um, and so uh, that's a huge milestone for us. We are shooting for, uh, I mean, we're always shooting for 100%, but we're hopefully going to be hitting 70% by June 15th. Um, if we get uh, maintain our current vaccination um, levels. Um, and then overall, that's about 41% of our overall population currently, including children. Um, and so we're, we're right above the national average in terms of vaccinating uh, our population uh, in this area, which is very promising. Davies says the mass vaccination site at Town Toyota Center distributed about 1,200 doses of Pfizer vaccine on Friday alone, and satellite clinics have begun administering doses on days when the center is closed. Commissioner of Public Lands Hillary Franz was in Winthrop yesterday to kick off a new collabor collaborative effort between the Washington State Department of Natural Resources, community members, home preparedness experts, regional fire districts, and other partners to better prepare those most at risk during wildfire season. Wildfire Ready Neighbors connects residents with experts and tools to help them take proactive action 
from small steps to large to better protect their homes and surrounding property from wildfire. Wildfire Ready Neighbors is piloted in three high-risk counties this year, Chelan, Okanagan, and Spokane. Chelan County, the first in the pilot program, launched April 5th in Wenatchee. Spokane County, they kick off their works on April 30th. Well, coming up next, the State Department of Transportation is proposing a multi-lane roundabout where Easy Street meets Highway 297. Dawn Davies, Executive Director of the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society, announced she will retire in June. And a signature part of the Washington State Apple Blossom Festival is making a comeback. I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Hi, Stephen DeVilvis here, Branch Manager of Beneficial and Home Care. We are an equal opportunity employer and we do not discriminate in employment or services. It is our mission to maximize our clients' physical health and sense of mental well-being while remaining in the comfort of their home. We are currently seeking professional caregivers who share our mission to help our clients live safely and comfortably at home. Call Beneficial and Home Care. Schedule your interview today, 509-663-7900. The Tan Republic Bronze Without Borders membership is our best membership to date. Discounted monthly dues, access to over 65 locations, 25% off all products, discounted upgrades and spray tanning, members only specials, and of course, we treat you like a VIT. Very important tanner. Ask your certified Smart Tan Associate how you can sign up for a Bronze Without Borders membership program today and save. Tan beautiful. Tan Republic. I'm Dr. Wayne Latimer. I'm a chiropractic physician. I have postgraduate certifications in both whiplash trauma and rehab as well as sports medicine. The location is great. The light and the visibility, the 17-foot ceilings are fantastic. You can go into a lot of clinics and it's very clinical. People really like the spa environment, so my whole premise was take a spa environment, add the very serious rehab, and give people an enjoyable way to get better over time. Traditional values and innovation in honoring the life of each family we serve is part of the ministry of Heritage Memorial Chapel. Our staff is committed to walk with your family with compassion through this time of grief. We are here to help and here to serve the right kind of help when you need it most. Heritage Memorial Chapel. Welcome back. In another news, as most of us already know, roundabouts are the go-to traffic control method for more and more local intersections. Now the State Department of Transportation is proposing a multi-lane roundabout where Easy Street meets Highway 2 and 97 just west of the Otabashan Bridge. The roundabout would eliminate the four-way stoplight currently there, plus adding shorter crosswalks and an extension for the Apple Capital Loop Trail. DOT plans a virtual public meeting to present the plan on April 28th. Construction could begin one year from now. Don Davies, Executive Director of the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society, announced she will retire in June. She's managed the nonprofit service, which provides animal control and shelter operations for the last 10 years. During that time, she oversaw creation of a brand new and improved shelter for homeless pets, which offers classes, a pet food bank, and low-cost spay and neuter operations. About 96% of animals that arrive at the shelter are rehabilitated and placed in new homes rather than being euthanized. The Humane Society Board says it's close to announcing Davies' replacement. Well, a signature part of the Washington State Apple Blossom Festival is making a comeback. The Classy Chassis Car Parade will take a bow June 11th during the festival, which has been scaled back and rescheduled due to the pandemic. The annual East Wenatchee event, sponsored by Les Schwab, takes off at 6 p.m. Organizers say there will be health requirements, including facial masks and social distancing, even though the car parade is an outdoor event. The parade is on, but there will be no accompanying car show this year. That element hopefully will come back into the schedule for 2022. 
You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Please stay with us. At Local Myth Pizza, we believe in real food, freshly prepared with only premium ingredients. Our cheeses are imported from Italy. Our sauces, dressings, and even our sausages are made in-house fresh daily. Featuring Northwest craft beers and 30 Chelan Valley wines and ciders. Family fun and amazing food. Eat local, drink local, and be local at Local Myth Pizza. Come see why Sunset Magazine says you can't beat Local Myth Pizza. As our students return to learn, the need is great for all positions in the Wenatchee School District. Can you see yourself in these hallways? Or helping support students? Maybe you're an excellent office administrator, or educator, or you have a love of sports. The Wenatchee School District is now hiring all levels of positions. You can make the difference in the life of a student and in your own life. Apply now at WenatcheeSchools.org. Are you a take charge kind of person? Consider a career as a health unit coordinator. You'll work to keep health facilities running efficiently by coordinating medical providers, patients, and departments. The Charter College Certificate in Health Unit Coordinator Program can get you up to speed on basic patient care, health records management, health and safety procedures, and medical billing. And the 10 month online program includes a computer you keep. Get started at chartercollege.edu, where we work to get you to work. It's estimated that one-third of Americans do not have a financial plan. At DA Davidson, their advisors are working to change that because they understand the importance of planning for the future. At DA Davidson, they believe in partnering together to build a strategy tailored to your needs. They spend the time and have the knowledge to help keep your financial future on track. Let DA Davidson Financial Advisors of Wenatchee put the strength of advice to work for you. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. In tonight's feature story, a Meadow Valley woman was nearing the end of a 1,500 mile road trip when she carried out a heroic rescue. 39 year old Candace Burt of Twisp came upon a one car rollover in rural Grant County Saturday morning with the driver trapped inside and the car on fire. Candace called 911 and pulled the driver from the wreck just before the vehicle went up in flames. The fire was so hot, one of her shoes was destroyed. She told NCW Life the story yesterday in her own words. I kind of saw something off the side of the road, and the vehicle itself was maybe 10 feet off the road um, on its side, and which I figured out once I turned the car around. But I saw something strange in, like, some lights, and so I looked in, like, the rearview mirror, and it looked like a fire. Um, and I just immediately thought, is that an accident? And I turned the car around um, thinking, you know, uh, I need to get ready to call 911. I could kind of, I couldn't see into the car because it was filled with smoke um, and there was uh, fire in the grass around it and on the underside of the car, which was actually facing because it was on its passenger side, like fully on its side. Um, you know, the, the fire was kind of around the tire. You know, I approached the vehicle um, at a running pace with 911 on the phone and was pounding kind of on it and trying to figure out, you know, I, I didn't know what kind of car this was. It was it was just, it caught me by so much surprise. I was trying to figure out where the doors were. So I was trying to pull and get the top door um, open, but it was, I could see it had been crushed in. The car had rolled or, or something, and so the door was crushed in enough that it didn't even budge. Once I couldn't get in the top door, I realized there was a sunroof. I got my fingers underneath that sunroof and just started pulling on it as hard as I could, and it eventually snapped. And that's when I saw him hanging from his seatbelt. Once I got him out, uh, his leg and his boot um, were on, you know, were flaming on fire. And so I was kicking. Um, I felt kind of bad, but um, I guess that's the only thing you can really do, you know, in that moment um, is kind of kick and put out the fire in, on his leg. I just think that, um, 
we have to keep our eyes open and, you know, we have to be willing to help out people we don't know in really horrible situations. It's really important for us to do what we can, you know, for other people whenever we can. Um, you know, and, and in this case, um, uh, stopping and calling 911 and trying to help, um, you know, there, there's not really any other choice, though. Time now to take a look at your North Central Washington weather forecast. Gorgeous day once again today on this 420. And I'll tell you what, it was nice out there. Temperatures above normal once again. Here's our, uh, our outer weather window this afternoon looking back at Turtle Rock. And still a little bit of snow on top of the Cascades. But boy, what a beautiful day to be out on the water today. Temperature wise, it wasn't all that hot, but it still was above normal today. Unofficially at 67 degrees. 63 is where we should be for this time of year. 37 was our low this morning. 41 is normal. Do you remember just five years ago? Check that out. 86 degrees, our record high in 2016. Our record low, 27 in 1961. 602, our sunrise now and sunset just before 8 o'clock at 758. Let's take a peek at your Wednesday weather. And I bet you're going to like it if you like that warm weather for this time of year because we're going to see a pretty good warm up as we get into Wednesday. Almost all of us into the mid 70s tomorrow from Ellensburg to Quincy, Afreda and Moses Lake 74. It looks like up the I-97 corridor or I should say the 97 Highway 97 corridor it will be the warmest. Wenatchee 75, Eniat, Chelan and Omac at 76 tomorrow. Boy, I hope you get outside and have a chance to enjoy the beautiful weather. Tonight we're going to enjoy most Mostly clear skies. It will be mild too. High pressures continues to nose into the Pacific Northwest, and that means a big ridge over all of us in the western United States. And that will make for some mild overnight lows tonight. With lows tonight warmer than this morning, probably into the lower 40s for Wednesday. We just talked about it. Sunny and unseasonably warm. In fact, Tri Cities in the orange right here will probably make 80 degrees on our Wednesday, mid 70s as we talked about for us. And then on Thursday, our weather changes just a little bit. It will be sunny, maybe a little bit breezy at times too. Cooler, we're talking cooler, about 70 degrees for Thursday. But you can see low pressure is starting to form a trough into Montana, and that will begin to bring in more clouds on Friday as an area of low pressure off the coast also pushes in. And you can see the rain associated with that low. Here it is, and that will continue to move our way as we move into Saturday. And by Saturday, much cooler, cloudy skies, a 50% chance of rain. And boy, our weather pattern will change on Saturday and last right through next week. Uh, high temperatures Saturday only about in the low 60s. For Sunday, mostly cloudy. We're going to stay with those cloudy skies as that area of low pressure continues to pump moisture up into Washington State. And that's a pretty favorable flow for us in the Wenatchee Valley to see some moisture. For Monday then, we're going to stay unstable with cloudy skies, a 30% chance of rain. And it's going to stay like that, it looks like, through most of next week with rain chances once again on Wednesday and again on Thursday and much cooler temperatures too. Let's take a look at your seven day forecast now. 44 tonight, tomorrow our best day by far. 75 degrees and sunny, a little cooler, but still nice for Thursday. Maybe breezy too and 71. 68 Friday and then a rainy period begins for us on Saturday, continues into Sunday and Monday with high temperatures in the low 60s. And that's a look at your local weather forecast. Coming up next, tonight's sports report with Eric Grandstrom and more as the NC W Life Evening News continues right after this. Come on, I'm a certified technician. I was trained to take good care of you. Nine, I've only been to the dealer. I've been coming here for years. These guys are great. Look around. The BMW, the Jag, the Volvo, they're all waiting for regular service. Well, the BMW has a little computer issue, but that's nothing we can't handle. Come on in. From regular maintenance to computer troubleshooting, trust the Global Car Care technicians with your import, diesel-powered, or domestic vehicle. Global Car Care, they speak your car's language. Danke schön. With TV advertising, what we want to do is more deeply connect with the community. 
people spot me in different parts around North Central, you know, Costco and Wenatchee say, hey, you're the pizza guy. And so they wouldn't know that if it weren't for the, for the TV commercials we've done. We've been here so long that people already know who we are and what we do, but to have that image flash on their television screen as opposed to just hearing in the radio or seeing in the newspaper. I just love the fact that we can actually put our finger on when a customer comes in and says, I saw your ad. It's becoming increasingly difficult in this digital age to know where are your customers listening or watching, because I watch all the different channels that they watch too, like Cooking Channel, History Channel, and so it was wonderful to be able to be on there. I would say that uh, if you want to do business in Wenatchee, then you should connect with the people of Wenatchee, and there's no better way to do that than with NCW Life. In a world afraid of technology, one man, one show, will bring you the newest innovations that may just change your life. This summer, Ray McNeil and your weekly tech update is your weekly tech update with Ray McNeil. And now it's a sports update on the NCW Life Channel. And a happy Tuesday to you. The Mariners were tasked with taking on the best team in Major League Baseball Monday. The Los Angeles Dodgers and Seattle was up to the challenge. Seattle got home runs from Taylor Trammell and Jose Marmaleos in a 4-3 victory with only nine hits combined between the two clubs. Marmaleos got things going early for the Mariners with a runner aboard in the bottom of the first. Clocks into right field. Marmaleos is He's right in the middle of the play. You see the run to it. That's his two-seamer. And he just drops the barrel on it. Typically lefties like the ball down and in. That was more middle. But 114 exit below 355 feet on a line. And yes, I don't blame you for trying to get out of the way of that one. Taylor Trammell would add to the highlight reel with a solo shot off Dutch, uh, Dodgers starter Dustin May in the bottom of the second. Still is amazing that he can get it to move that much. Wow. And this is shot deep out the opposite way. This is on its way and gone. Number three in the show for Taylor Trammell comes off Dustin May and gives the Mariners an early 3 0 lead. 405 feet out the left center field. And the Mariners just looking for the fastball in the middle of the plate, and this is what he's going to get. Justin Sheffield worked five and two-thirds innings for the win, allowed three runs on four hits with six strikeouts and three walks. Seattle's bullpen of Vest, Mishevitz, Graveman, and Montero were once again superb, allowing no runs, one hit over the final three and a third with three strikeouts. Seattle also got some fantastic play in the field by Evan White, Mitch Hanniger, and Dylan Moore. Evan White. Trouble. Evan White is... Oh. I know we've seen him to what basically amounts to a half a season when you consider last year and this year. I don't think there's anybody better going after the ball in the air when it's hit over his head. He turns. This thing is slicing away from him. Runs to a spot. Yep, there it is. And helps that he's a pretty good athlete and can cover a lot of ground. But TNM makes some great catches. Strikes and hasn't gotten the call. If that's happening, as this is hanging up, Hanniger slides and Mitch Hanniger makes the catch. Boy, some brilliant defensive work tonight behind Sheffield, two outs. Well, Mitch makes this catch a number of times. He covers so much ground in the outfield. Sheffield able to jam him this time, so it's a little soft line drive out there. Sliding catch for the second out. Line. Oh! I'm sorry, that's some pretty good stuff right there. Manager Scott Service was asked about the intensity of Monday's game and how there was a constant buzz at the ballpark. I guess similar to when we play the Blue Jays or when you play the Yankees or when you play the Red Sox. <laughs> you know, and, uh, there's certainly a lot of Dodger fans uh, in, in the crowd last night. Uh, you know, they've got quite a following with, with what they've been able to do the last few years. So, uh, you know, it, it does pick up the intensity there. Um, I thought it was really big for us. 
uh, to get off the game on a good note. Obviously, Marmol hitting the home run in the first inning. Um, and, you know, keeping the pressure on. We didn't get a lot of hits last night, but, uh, you know, their guys got good stuff. Uh, no, no question about it. Just like the, the young lefty they've got out there today. So um, I, I think it's it's a good for our players to play in that environment. It's, it's, you don't get that unless the fans are there. And uh, I, I just last year, I'll never forget what it was like every day going through it. It just didn't feel like you were at a big league game. Even though the talent on the field is what it is, it's, it's cer certainly the best in the world. But just didn't have the same feel without the fans there. So it's great having them back. And hopefully, you know, as we get deeper into the summer, uh, early fall, you'll get even more fans in the ballpark. Seattle and Los Angeles played a getaway day game today with Marco Gonzalez facing Julio Urias. We'll have highlights and results tomorrow morning on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. By the way, Kyle Lewis expected back in the lineup for today's game in center field. That is good news. Well, in the rest of the American League West on Monday, Texas exploded for five runs in the sixth and a 6-4 win over Los Angeles. Uh, the Angels committed three errors in the game, two of which in that sixth inning. Oakland and Minnesota were postponed due to COVID-19. They were making that up as a doubleheader today. Seattle enjoys a game-and-a-half lead in the American League West over the uh, Angels and Oakland. We have our first baseball game here on the NCAW Life Channel since spring of 2019 today when Anchi hosts for Eastmont at Recreation Park this afternoon. Joel Norman with the play-by-play -play, uh, live on our Facebook feed and then uh, tape delays tonight at 7 o'clock here on television. Also on tap today at, uh, let's see, Freitas at uh, Moses Lake, Cascade hosting OMAC, Cashmere welcomes Walloop, Brewster's in Chelan, Quincy hosting Liberty Bell in Okanagan taking on Lake Roosevelt. On the softball diamonds, it uh, was Bridgeport traveling to Soap Lake and Tenasket visiting Almira Cooley Heartline, also Cascade at Quincy, Chelan hosting Royal, OMAC traveling to Oroville, Brewster hosting Lake Roosevelt, Okanagan visiting Pateras, and Cashmere playing at Waluke. Also boys soccer on the tap today, Manson traveling to Brewster, Liberty Bell hosting Pateras, and Oroville visiting Tenasket. Also uh, later on tonight, it's Eastmont at, Qu or actually hosting Quincy, Chelan traveling to Wenatchee, and Moses Lake entertaining Cascade. We'll again, have uh, baseball highlights for you for the Mariners as well as Eastmont and Wenatchee coming up tomorrow on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. That's a look at sports news. I'm Eric Grandstrom Grant. Back to you. Thank you very much, Eric. Take a quick breather because we're coming right back to you now for a look at what's coming up tomorrow morning on Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Eric? Well, thank you much, Grant. Be sure and join us for a Wednesday edition of Wake Up with Angie Valley. A special guest will actually join him on location at Omi Gardens. We'll talk with the director of Omi Gardens, uh, Jason Browning. That's coming up on tomorrow's program. Also, we'll see how our high school baseball coverage between Wenatchee and Eastmont fares, and we'll see how Marco Gonzalez does on the mound as the Mariners look for a quick two-game sweep of the Dodgers. It's all coming up tomorrow morning on a Wednesday edition of Wake Up Wenatchee Valley right here on the NCW Live channel. Grant? Thank you, Eric. We'll be watching. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-NCWL. That's 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us. Have a great night. Dave Mart is the place to go if you are in the market for home furnishings. They have rows and rows of sofas, love seats, recliners, and chairs in a vast array of fabrics and colors. Name brands include Ashley, Best, and Stanton. With pictures, lamps, and tables to complement your new furniture, Save Mart is a one stop shop. Save Mart offers 12 month special financing on approval of credit. Save Mart also offers free delivery, setup, and haul away in their service area. Serving the Wenatchee Valley for over 50 years. Located on North Wenatchee Avenue or visit online at SaveMart.net. Club Crow Bar and Grill in Cashmere is your place for famous blues, brews, and barbecue. Currently, Club Crow Bar and Grill in Cashmere is open for dine-in and take-out. Owner Justin Hefner and his staff are just as excited as you to get back to their regularly scheduled full menu, music, and poker. So stay tuned. Meanwhile, Club Crow Bar and Grill in Cashmere is serving a limited menu for lunch and dinner, dine-in, or take-out. Club Crow Bar and Grill in Cashmere, the coolest place in town.
For all the latest news in North Central Washington, go to ncwlife.com or find us on Facebook. Got a news tip? Email us at news at ncwlife.com or call 888-2020.